So I want to do a quick demo of how I would go about drawing uh, the doors and creating these right blocks. Um, what I would recommend doing is draw the door in position that it's going to be on the plan and then create the block and then uh, in the next assignment we'll be able to insert it into the into the drawing. I, I like this method of doing it just because um, particularly like for this front door you have to draw in some frames and it kind of makes it easier if you're drawing it right into the correct wall thickness. So what I'm going to do as an example is I'm going to do the door that would be it going into the powder room which is a, a three foot swing door and I would look ahead to the um, the door and window schedule. Let me see if I've got that open. Yes I do that's posted in the next assignment and it gives you the sizes and that will be useful because you want to draw the, the doors to the correct size. So let's draw this, it's door number one, it's a three foot door and what the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to create the opening for that. So I'm going to use my offset and I'm going to offset six inches and then offset three feet. And typically, especially since we're drawing our plan at eighth of an inch, you're not going to draw the frame of all of the doors. The one that has glass at the front door, you will. Uh, but typically, if it's just a regular door, you're just going to draw the leaf. So that's why I'm making a three foot opening. So that's um, the, the uh, width of the actual door leaf. So I'm going to use the extend command and I'm going to extend these lines that I just offset so that I can trim and create this opening. And now what I want to do, I want to make sure that my layer is set to zero. And we draw blocks on layer zero because if we have them on, z on layer zero, if we insert them onto a layer, they will automatically take on the characteristics of the layer. That means the line type, the color, um, all of those uh, things that we set within each layer. If you draw it on, you know, if I were to go onto um, the A door layer and draw it, then when I insert it, even if I put it on a different layer, it's going to still maintain the characteristics of the A door layer. So we always want to draw our blocks on layer zero. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to draw the door leaf. And it's very important that the, the, the length or the width of the door leaf matches the width of the opening. So I'm going to use the P line command. You can use the line command too because it's going to be a block so it doesn't really matter. Um, so I'm going to type in PL and I'm going to start here. You want to make sure you select the corner where the, the door would be hinged to. So I'm going to draw a, a line segment that goes three feet. And then a typical door is uh, one and three quarters of an inch thick. So I'm going to do 1.75 and then I'm going to go back three feet and then I'm just going to type in C to close. So now I have my door leaf. What I need to do, do now is draw my door swing. And to do that I'm going to use the arc command. So I'm just going to type in A to enter the arc command. And I'm going to start here at this opposite corner and it's the same corner, you know, it's a corner directly across from where the door is hinged. And that's going to be my first point. My second point, I'm going to zoom in a little bit so you can see this a little bit better, my second point is going to be this corner of the door and my third point is going to be that corner of the door. And what this creates is an exact quarter circle which represents the path that the door will take as it's opening and closing. So now I have my door and my door swing and what I want to do is create a block. So I'm going to go in over here to my insert tab and I'm going to click on create block. And I'm going to select right block. And what I want to do is I'm going to select objects. I'm going to pick my base point. And my base point is, is typically going to be this corner where the door is hinged. I select my objects and enter. And then I want to um, put this in a place where I'm going to be able to easily find it. Uh, I would recommend making a folder um, you know, someplace that makes sense. I'm just going to put mine on my desktop for right now. But I would make a folder and, you, you know, you may want to make, you, we're going to be creating furniture later, so you may want to have a, a folder that's doors, a folder that's furniture, just to kind of keep things organized. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to call this a three foot swing door. 
and I'm going to hit save. And you can name it whatever you want, whatever's going to make sense to you, but name it something that you're going to be able to tell what it is, and then just click OK. And then um, what we want to do, uh, this isn't a block yet because we've just created the right block, but I'm going to show you what happens when we insert it. And we don't need to insert them yet, we're just creating the blocks in this assignment, but I want to show you um, how that works. What you do is you click on this insert tab, we're on the insert ribbon here, and hit more options. And what we want to do is we want to browse. And I'm going to go back to my desktop here and I'm going to find my three foot uh, swing door and hit open and click OK. And then that would bring in my block. And in fact, let me, what I'm going to do is I'm going to erase this and I'm going to go and set my layer to my door layer so you can kind of see how this works because my the color for my door layer is yellow so we're going to go through that process here again Oops. insert more options and browse and then hit open and I'm going to hit redefine because I've already uh, inserted it and then I can insert my block right there where I had just erased that one and now it is actually a block and you can see it's taken on the characteristics of the door layer. So for this assignment you just need to draw the different doors and create the blocks for them. So just remember to start on, on layer zero, look at that door schedule, look at the different types of doors based on the sketch that's included in, um, in the, within this assignment as well and then just let me know if you've got questions.